in the Players' Championship Finals. And Jermaine Watamina playing his first ever PDC ranking final. To talk you through it, I'm Dan Dawson. Chris Murphy alongside me. Yeah, been a very interesting opening day of action here at Players' Championship 1 in Wigan. Kudos 100. particularly to Scott Baker, who Michael Van Gerwen has just beaten in the semi-finals to get to this stage. 7-5, of course, the extended format. 100. For the semis and final, it'll be first to eight in this one. And Jermaine Waterman had a bit of a problem with that in the semi, didn't he, Dan? We all did, to be honest, we all did. He did, Peter did, I did, everybody did. It's only uh, Owen Jar Jar Binks, our scorer, who had to basically tell them to carry on playing. Yeah, the professionals over on 99. Stream 2 managed to get it right. Michael Van Gerwen and the A team over there, of course. But anyway, let's uh, go for it. How have you been, Dan? Anyway, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, I'm, I'm good. And I'll tell you what. I'm awful lot better for seeing Jermaine Watamina not only make his first final, but exercise some demons on the way because it was seven, eight months ago that he made back-to-back -back semi-finals, his third and fourth PDC semis, and was cruelly denied a spot in the final by Ian White and Peter Wright. He's beaten them both, but hang on, hang on. Oh, very nearly starts it with a 170 checkout. Well, what a man, huh? Wants tops to respond in style, and he takes it out. 105, not bad for starters in your first PDC final. Well, this is what Jermaine Watamina has been 100. battling to get to, to show that he is right up there with the best players in the world. And we saw it 81. at the World Championship, where he very nearly beat Gary Anderson. It was a 170 there, he missed the bullseye. To beat Gary Anderson in a deciding set, but you could just see it on his face. He was delighted to have played that. It was the best he'd played probably since that weekend where he made back to back semi finals. And he said he wanted to use it as a springboard for 2019 to go on and really challenge and win his first PDC 100. title. Well, now he's got a chance. Does have a win against Michael Van Gerwen. It came in Milton Keynes around this time last year. 140. Middle of March at a Players' Championship event, but he also has four defeats against Michael Van Gerwen in all of their other meetings. 136. Well, he lost his last seven to Peter Wright before he absolutely annihilated him 7-2. Can he leave himself tops? 100. He can, and he does. Well, Van and Gerwen has seen Waterman as 105. Can he raise him 106? Game shot. Well, there's the answer. Mighty might, what a start to this final match. Two turn plus checkouts. 140. This is the first of 30 100. players' championship events that we will be bringing you over the course of 2019. No UK Open qualifiers 80. this year, of course, but extra players' championship events. The 128 tour card holders. 180. And this is undoubtedly the man to beat, Michael Van Gerwen. How many games has he won in a row now, Murph? 86. 17 after that semi final win against Scott Baker. Stretching back well to the start of the World Championship. His last defeat came at 96. the hand of Daryl Gurney in Minehead, the final of the Players' Championship finals. One hundred and twenty-nine. Well, how about a third consecutive ton plus checkout? This time Van Gogh in looking for fireworks, but it's not going to happen. Eighty-five. Game Very shot. nicely done, Jermaine Watermaina. Sixty-six taken out in two darts. The finishing from these two absolutely flawless so far. 105, 106, 66. 125. 111 average for Van Gerwen, 107 for Jermaine Watermaina. Yeah, not a single dart missed at doubles so far. Van Gerwen has had a handful of ton plus averages already this afternoon, including 110 against Johnny Clayton. His tournament average is 94. well over that 100 mark, 102.74 going into this final. 100. Watermen are around the 95 and a half mark for the tournament. 180. Well, there's a very real possibility that Van Gerwen is going to launch his average up. To even higher. I mean, we we saw an incredible game between Peter Wright and Michael Smith earlier. 
as Van Gerwen looks at double 16 for another 70. ten plus check out and just misses outside, but it won't matter. He will come back. Yeah, both men averaging over 111 in that game. Peter Wright and Michael 87. Smith. 87. Yeah, that 112 from Smith, I think, is the highest average of the day, and it was a losing one. Game shot. Van Gerwen levels up. Similar kind of start to the match that he had in the semi-final. What a man are not rolling over, is he? Not showing that... 99. Just be happy to be here and let Michael Van Gerwen walk to a, a third title in 2019. 177. Well, this is ominous stuff for Michael Van Gerwen. The last three legs, two and a half legs, he's had a 177 and two 180s. Just the four perfect darts to start the 100. leg. But you, you saw him play against Scott Baker and you were telling me just before this started, you felt when Van Gerwen managed to get in front, you thought he'd fold Baker, but he didn't happen, did it? He was pushed, Van Gerwen. Yeah, not at all. Michael Van Gerwen led 1-0 and then he didn't take the lead again until 5-4. It was 174. a 12-dart leg to break. Possibility of a 10-dart here, but I think it'll be an 11, if not a dozen. But Baker hit back with an 11 dart of his 44. own to level up in that match before Van Gerwen reeled off the last couple of legs. 11 Game it shot. is for MVG. And that is a crucial break of throw for Michael Van Gerwen. Now we find out if Jermaine has got the fight to turn this around. He certainly showed fight against Ian White. He won it in the last leg decider. He survived a match dart. But against Peter Wright, he was given the luxury 100. of taking a 4 0 lead. Ninety-six. And you have to give him credit as well, Jermaine, because with all the fun and frolics at the end of the match, believing he'd won it at when he got to six legs, take something to kind of calm yourself back down and make sure you do get over the line, especially when you're a man who hasn't reached a, a final in four previous attempts. No, I was hugely impressed with him, but He's playing well here, and Van Gerwen is genuinely threatening to do something ridiculous in terms of the numbers we're seeing. 57. Michael has already come close to a nine data today as well. Missed the double 18 in the last leg of his win against Mickey Mansell for a 147. To a perfect leg off. But here, Watermaner is threatening to do something similar to what Scott Baker did at that point we just mentioned in the previous match. He's on a potential 11 dart leg to break straight back, but he's going to have to do it. Oh my. Game well, shot. there you go. Michael Van Gerwen is at a 171 and a 180 in that leg, and he gets absolutely nothing for it because 100 checkout, 11 data, and Jermaine Watamena is not lying down. 96. Against the best player in the world, playing at his best. 117, the average, and rising from Michael 180. Van Gerwen. This is absolutely astonishing from MVG. We, we could genuinely 40. see records broken here. I know that we have seen players, supposedly, averaging in the 130s on the tour. But that is back-to-back -back 180s for Michael Van Gerwen, his fourth and fifth. It leaves him 141. 180. And in this mood, it could happen, Murph. Well, he missed it against Mansell. This time, the seventh dart denies him. 65. But the stats at the end of this one could be something that we haven't really seen before. 130. But what a mainer is there, ready to pounce if this doesn't go. But of course Game it's shot. going. Oh. Bang in the middle of the 60, bang in the middle of the double A. It's in another 11 data. And if you trade blows with Van Gogh and you are going to come off worse the vast majority of the time, but when he's in this mood, I don't think there's any other possibility. 57. We've just seen three consecutive 11 dart legs. That's how good this final is. Michael Van Gogh's average is just shy of 120 right now. 58. We, we feel sure that he would have done more than the highest recorded average before that we had the ability to monitor all the stats on the Pro Tour, but that record is 123.4. That was in the Premier League in Aberdeen against Michael Smith. His new biggest 85. rival, do you subscribe to that theory? Well, I've certainly... He's been asked that question a lot this week. Michael Van Gerwen. Six. The bookies had Michael Smith as second favourite behind MVG as the... favourite to win the Premier League. He's obviously played him in the Premier League final and the World Final. The 
two biggest money games in PDC darts. Come on, well, one hundred and seventy-seven. Stop this, mighty Michael Van Gerwen. He has had nine, 32. three big treble visits in the last five legs. Is it another ton plus out this time? He wants double 16 for 178. But again, when he missed, it hasn't mattered because what a man are not on a finish. 125. And he is now. So he can't afford to miss here. Does Game not shot. miss. And it is this sort of mood that the thing that often makes the difference between what looks like you know a great average that 110 to something that is monstrous up near 120 58 it's about pinning the doubles first dart a 15 dart leg is an average of 100 but if you've pinned your double first dart for a 13 dart are you looking in the 134 well, that match against michael smith that we referenced with the 123 average that's the record on tv actually could have been 180 yeah missed darts to win it sooner and that's the difference between an average that MVG knows that he can beat and one that I think a lot of people would that it might will stand forever that record if it had been 132 57 yeah, first time in the match as well that we've had a little bit of daylight more than one leg difference between the pair 101 and Gerwin 101 leaves 132 and what a man now could be finding himself 45. sinking in the quicksand a little. It's his favourite finish. Another one there. Not to be. 92. But it does leave him on tops. What a mainer. Well, we saw Johnny Clayton and Michael Van Gerwen playing earlier on. 65. MVG average 110. And the only chances Clayton was getting were chances like that. Game shot. Well, Michael Van Gerwen gets to six first, but he's two away from continuing this crusade to win every single title in 2019. And you're getting the feeling here that Van Gerwen is kind of in that mood he was in in the Premier League final against Michael Smith, where he's almost playing against himself. He feels that he's got the game 59. won. He's got the title won. It's just a case of what number can he post? What message can he send out? Well, you said earlier, Dan, that he was asked a certain 54. question a lot since the World Championship. There's a question he was asked a lot before it which was, are you the best player in the world? Is it not Gary Anderson? And he kind of answered that question 100. in the semi-final at Alexandra Palace and is continuing to insert his dominance on the rest of the tour so far this year. 121. Yeah, I mean, 115 averages are certainly a, probably the best way of doing that. A fully functioning back is 100. always a good thing to have as best player in the world as well. One hundred and seventy. Well, just hitting whatever he wants now, Michael Van Gerwen. What a man has stayed with him for the first six 100. legs, but since then, Van Gerwen has put his foot on his throat. Game and shot. He's not taking it off. Well, he's fired in a thirteen darter there, and his average has come down. It's still at the hundred and fifteen mark, and in only ten legs of darts, Van Gerwen has actually registered. All the biggest scores on the board. 180, 177, 174, 171 and 170. I'm not sure I've ever seen that in a Pro Tour game. 123. Well, it's all Dutch duel in the final 34. of the very first Players' Championship event of 2018. Looks like going the way of the world, number one. Full credit to Watermena for getting 80. this far and for weathering the storm a little bit in the early stages. But Michael Van Gerwen has just looked unbeatable so far this year. 94. Well, he is unbeaten this year. And would he, would he go three bullseyes? One hundred and seventy-four. Maybe not now. Another there. Would have left double 18. A chance of one man to stay in it. Game shot. Well, he does stay in it, Jermaine Watermana. And this isn't over just yet. 7 4. I mean, this reminds me. It's, it's almost similar to when we saw Chris Doby make that 
Pro Tour final and average 110 and get absolutely annihilated by Michael Van Gogh. It's not 99. that Jermaine has played poorly. He's played absolutely fantastically. But this is just something else from MVG. 100. There were times last year, especially in the early stages, where Michael Van Gerwen was playing about a little bit, looked a little bit 100. more jovial than usual, had lost that bit of concentration. None of that so far this year. Not in the World Championship, not at the Masters, and not at all today. 94. Nobody got close to it. The closest anybody got in sets to Michael Van Gerwen at Ali Pali was in the very first round, Alan Tabard. He was dispatched 3-1. Nobody got close to beating him at the Masters. Nobody has really got that close today. Scott Baker has got closest. To 96. Him. Well, you made the point down on social media that to win any tournament five times in a row is incredible. To win the one with the best 16 players in the world five times 82. in a row is out of this world. And this performance has been out of this world from Michael Van Gerwen. Not quite over 98. yet. But what a man at. Unable to finish.